as Jared Cannonier had revealed, he sustained a left ulnar shaft fracture during the first leg kick that Robert Whitaker delivered to him. His MMA lab team just released his x-rays here showing his ulnar shaft fracture. So the following is my proposed game plan on how I would likely proceed to fix his ulnar shaft fracture with plates and screws based on the x-rays that his team released. First, we should look at the fracture very closely. So I have arrows here on the free floating pieces of bone uh, that were likely from the leg kick directly. And so those are free floating or what we call butterfly pieces in fracture surgery. Um, basically when we're in surgery, we're trying to reconstruct this bone almost like a jigsaw puzzle. So we start reconstructing these butterfly pieces back into the adjacent larger pieces. So take this x-ray for example, you see the two butterfly pieces, however, the top one is probably too small to hold a screw and likely won't be captured. So I would take the proximal portion here, the large piece, and apply it adjacent to the proximal ulna shaft and then fix it there with a screw. So notice how our first screw just went bone to bone and did not go through the plate. We call this a lag screw. After our lag screw is secured, we can now apply the plate onto the surface of the bone. We want the plate to be long enough where we can get at least three screws on either side of the fracture. After the plate is applied and we know it's long enough with three screws on uh, proximal and distal ends of the fracture, then we can basically drill and fill our remaining screws. Um, so we'll do at least, again, three above and three below the fracture. And the reason that we want three screws both above and below the fracture is that's going to be a strong enough construct to help control bending of the bone along with rotation of the bone. So here is a picture of a ulnar shaft after uh, getting plates and screws or what we call open reduction internal fixation. And it shows an example of a lag screw in the middle of the construct along with a long plate that was long enough to accommodate three screws both above and below the fracture. I think this is exactly the pattern that's going to be used for Jared Cannonier's ulnar fracture.